Hi guys, in this video, we will continue our journey in mathematical optimization series with a well-known problem called assignment problem. The assignment problem is a fundamental combinatorial optimization problem. In its most general form, the problem is as follows. The problem instance has several workers and several tasks. Any worker can be assigned to perform any task, incurring some costs. Note that costs may vary depending on the worker task assignment. It is required to perform as many tasks as possible by assigning at most one worker to each task and at most one task to each worker to minimize the total cost of the assignment. In today's example, we will consider n tasks to be done with n workers and each worker has a certain cost for each task. We show this as CIJ. Again, our aim is to find the best assignment of all tasks that minimizes the total cost. We have two constraints. First, each worker can do at most one task. Second, all tasks need to be done finished. Let us move to the problem formulation. Let me first introduce the indices. The index i represents workers and the index j represents the tasks. The objective function is the summation over i's and j's, cij times xij. We have two sets of constraints. First, summation over i's, xij's, less than or equal to 1 for all j's, and summation over j's, xij's, equal to 1 for all i's. We have also the integrality constraints for xij. In the formulation, xij is the decision variable showing that whether task j is done by worker i or not. Note that this formulation is called a balanced linear assignment problem. As you see, this is an integer linear program. However, we can solve it without the integrality constraints. In other words, we can drop the last constraint. We can use standard methods for solving continuous linear programs. In this balanced linear case, the linear program always has an optimal solution where the variables take integer values. This is because the constraint matrix of the formulation is totally unimodular. We will show this by solving the same model with continuous variables. Let us move to the coding part. First, we need to create our input cost matrix. We can use rounded function from the NumPy package. Next, we need to import our solver, Cplex. Then we can create our model instance and name it assignment. In step four, we create binary decision variables. This time, as we have two indices, we will use binary var matrix function. This function takes two inputs corresponding to sizes and a name as usual. After that, we can add the constraints to the model. As you remember, we have two sets of constraints. Unlike the previous videos, we will use the add constraints function to add multiple constraints at a time. The first set of constraints is the workload constraints. Summation of xij over i's should be less than or equal to 1. We need to add this constraint for all j values. The second set of constraints is the task completion constraints. Summation of xij over j's should be exactly 1. We need to add this constraint for all i values. And we do this for four functions, as you see in the screen. And as you see in the output, we have correctly added the linear constraints. The next step is defining the objective function. As you remember, we need to sum the costs. We need to write a nested for loop as we have two indices. Let us have a look at the model we created. We can either use print information or we can use export as LP string. Let's first look at the print information. As you see, we created a model called assignment, which has 16 variables, and all of the variables are binary variables. And we have eight linear constraints. As you see, our objective is minimization, and the problem type is MILP. Let us have a look at the export as LP string. The function export as LP string, prints the whole model to the screen. As you see, we have a minimization problem where all of the coefficients are taken from the cost matrix 
and we have created our decision variables. You can see all the objective function values, objective function coefficients, constraints, and decision variables with their bounds. After being sure that the model is created correctly, we can call the solve function to solve the model. We see the solution again using the print solution function. As you see, the least cost of doing these tasks is 9. The assignments are the following. First worker needs to do the task 3. The second worker is assigned to do task 4. And the third worker needs to do task 2. Lastly, the, worker, the last worker is assigned to do task 1. Lastly, we call what we said at the beginning of the video. We claim that even if you relax the binary decision variables to continuous variables, you will obtain the same solution. This is because the constraint matrix is totally modular. Let us check whether it is the reality or not. We create the same model, but this time we use y instead of x. Again, we create a model, then add the decision variable y. This time, we need to use continuous bar matrix function. Additionally, we need to add lower and upper bound. After this, following the same code before, we add constraints and define the objective function. When we solve the model, as you see in the output, the optimal solution is the same as before. We have covered one of the most known problems in the literature, called assignment problem. Remember that the LP relaxation is valid for a balanced linear assignment problem. Thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you liked the video. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. See you in the next videos. Bye.